Hey guys, it's JJ and we're coming back with video number three. Now, in the first one we ended with 80.5 science and 205,000. Now it might not be quite the same for you, but uh, I think we're off to a good start. Now, if we go over and look at our science here, I'm going to grab this basic science for 45. It gives me some neat stuff, some more sciencey stuff. Uh, it gives me a good communications batteries. Nice. Now, my next one I always do is aviation because I build something called the science mobile. Okay. Uh, and I need advanced rocketry, aviation, and basic science to do this one. Well, we're about 10 science short for unlocking that. So for right now, we're going to leave it at that. Let's see. If we go to mission control, these can be all different for each and every person, right? Well, except there should be one that says explore the moon. Okay. Or, or there'll be a higher end one that says is, uh, you know, do science when you pass the moon. All right. We're going to accept that. And like in the last video, we unlocked tracking stations. So we got patched conics. We unlocked the astronaut complex so they can EVA and plant flags. This one, we need to unlock mission control level two. So it gives us flight planning. All right, flight planning lets us do maneuver nodes. Let's jump right in there. Let's get rid of these world first ones so we can see uh, what we get for this one. Okay, this one's super simple. And it, again, it, it all depends if you're using uh, the expansion or not. I'm building this one with parts you don't need. Uh, don't need the expansion for it. You can change this up if you do have the expansion. For this one, let's start with, uh, let's put a parachute on top. Uh, this one, just in case, we'll throw a heat shield on the bottom, just in case. Uh, let's throw a decoupler on the bottom. And let's throw one of these FLT 400 fuel tanks, a LV-909 Terrier, another decoupler uh, let's see let's let's throw three more of these FLT 400s on here let's put three of them on there and let's put a let's put a T45 swivel on there now this one we might have problems with it um, running over weight so let's let's try this. Let's use three fins this time. Three fins. And then we're going to use three of these new radial decouplers. Now, one of our problems is we're pretty close to weight here. Okay? We've only got like five and a half tons. So we're going to use these RT5 flea solid fuel boosters on this one. They're just going to be our kick in the pants to get lifted off here. Okay, we're still we're still low. Okay, I'm going to drag this engine down here, just so they can all burn at the same time, and we'll move this one into here. All that did was so when we decouple, we're instantly burning on our LV909. Uh, we've got parts left. We don't have weight very much weight left. Uh, if you do get the ones for science. You know what I mean? Uh, if you get the ones for science, put her back to one. Say, let's put, uh, I don't know, one thermometer on here, uh, one barometer. How about one mystery goo? Can we do that? How are, how are we sitting for weight now? How are we sitting for weight? Well, we've got one ton left to use. Do we have enough? Let's put a science junior on this thing. We're going to put that right here. Let's put this back on. What are we looking at now? Okay, we're at 24 parts. 24 parts. Now, if you got the mission that says to do the um, take the science data at the moon, you'll get more money at the end. But I think we should all 
should all be around the same at the end of this. 0 0.5 tons, 0 0.5. So as long as we spread these out, it shouldn't affect us too much. Uh, okay, do we have any aerodynamic nose cones yet? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, how much do these weigh? 0 0.3 tons. Can we go three times on this? This will just help us a little bit on our launch. So right now, right off the very bat here, uh, what do we got? Remember, we're putting that down there. This one burns off. Nice. So these all burn together. Then we drop the heavy stuff. Uh, these are only going to burn for a very short amount of time. And on the ground, it says our delta V is only 1842. In atmosphere, we're not doing too much better. Can this thing take off? All right. So this is ship number three. Let's save this one. Oop. Is that ship number three? I think it's ship number three. Call her 3.0, just in case. Ship number 3.0 already exists. Let's do 4.0 then. Will this make it up? Well, something's wrong here. We're missing our third engine stage. Mm. Okay. Well, let's try this. Ready? Remember, this one only says we got 1842 on the ground. Let's see if it works. I'm excited. I'm going to the moon. All right, so this one's, we've got a really quick kick to get up with. Uh, so let's hit our throttle, toggle SAS, full throttle just for the launch here, three, two, one, boost. And remember, 100 meters a second, let's start kicking her over here, and we're going to kill our throttle real quick here, drop this, and away we go. So... Over to that 10 degree mark, we're going up. We're gonna cut our throttle when we hit 270 with this one. 270, let's cut her back to that two thirds throttle and wait for 10,000. Now, if we click over here, this will tell us how much time we have left on each stage. Oh, what's this one? This one is supposed to be here. There we go. So we're coming up through 10,000. We're going back to full speed. Let's kick over to our 45 degree mark and hold her there. We're gonna click this so it shows us where our orbital is. And we're going up here to 45,000 apoapsis height. 45,000 apoap, I'm gonna right click up here and get rid of these so I can just watch this. At 45,000 apoapsis, uh, we're gonna start chasing our prograde. Okay, 45,000 apoapsis. Our speed is getting up here, so let's cut this back to that two-thirds throttle again. 45,000. 45,000. Can we make it up there? Our speed's pretty fast here. 45,000. Let's tell it to chase prograde on orbit. All right. We've got about 13 seconds of burn left. We're going... We're almost heating up here. Well, let's keep burning on this. And when it gets down to about four seconds left, three seconds, let's go full throttle, get the most out of that engine, and drop it. And we're going to drop back once again to two-thirds throttle just for now. And let's watch our apoapsis. Uh, same thing as before. We, we need that uh, basic, uh, basic orbit. This one we're going to do slightly different. Here we go, 72,000, we're going to cut our throttle and we're going to float up. All right, now while you're floating up here, we're going to scroll way back here and target the moon. Set the moon as your target. Okay, now the moon is 11,400,000 meters. So let's, let's zoom back in here and I'm going to time compress. If, if you're new to it, you don't want to go past it. Uh, let's, let's time compress a bit here. Get her up to uh, a little closer to that apoapsis because no one wants to spend all the time waiting for it, right? So we're at 40 seconds to apoapsis now, 38. We're, this time, 
we're going to uh, let her go to 20 seconds and then we're going to go full burn. 20 seconds and then full burn. Here we go. 20 seconds and go. Now this one on the nav ball, once we get closer uh, to the horizon on the nav ball, I'm going to switch it to stability assist here, okay? Just to make sure, there we go, just to make sure we're not going below. And now watching this, it's slowly dropping. And we're just going to keep burning here. Keep burning. There we go. We're at zero now. Our nose has come up. So we should be okay. Let's see what the teeny... Are we going to hold this? Remember, we just want 72,000 as an orbit here. It's starting to climb again. So we're going to cut throttle and let it float towards it again. Trying to keep that five degrees on the horizon. Let her go down to T minus zero. Just a little, little bit more here. And we're almost to orbit. Better make sure we stay around that five degree mark. Here we go, T minus zero, burn again. And we're just going to continue doing this until we get our orbit. We're 21,000 on this side. Not too much more now. Not too much more. So just wait till T minus zero, just X, uh, Z and X. Just quick burns. We want to make sure we, we get this orbit. Trying to be as fuel efficient as possible. Almost there. In the background, you can hear Simi barking. Obviously, someone's intruding on the sidewalk close to our house. There we go. And one last burn, and we've got a bare minimum orbit. Now we've got 950 delta V here. 950 delta V. Uh, we have an orbit of 72 by 70. This one, it's a lot easier if you don't put that science on there. No science junior, nothing like that. We've targeted here. Now, the way I do this is I look over, I call this a shoulder shot. I look off the right side of the planet, look at the moon, and right where that connection is, add a maneuver note. And what you're going to be doing, this new thing allows you to plan. So we're going to pull on this prograde button, and we're going to pull our apoapsis out, and we need the magical number. There we go. Of around 11,500. Now, we just barely want to get there, okay? Look at that. For 850 delta V, we're going to have an encounter with the moon. Now, we're going to be really constrained for delta V on this one. If you don't, if you can't make it, Take off that science, Junior. Take off all that science stuff. Just go with the basic ship. You will be able to do this. All right. So now we're 18 minutes away. For this, we have to point towards this maneuver node before we warp to our next maneuver, okay? So let's point at this and then just left-click somewhere past your maneuver and warp to the next maneuver. What this does is keeps us pointed in generally the direction we want to be going. We know it's going to be prograde, so you can actually hit it after you start warping. All right, so we've got a minute and 18 seconds left. The burn time is 37 seconds. What I like to do is burn half of it before and half of it after. So say T minus uh, 19, we're going to start burning, okay? T minus 19. So I'm going to just speed up. You can, you can sit and wait for it when you do it. Uh, I'm just trying to keep the video as short as possible here. So at T minus 19, we go full throttle and we burn on the prograde heading. All right, we're going to the moon. Now we've got to make sure we don't spend any more fuel than possible. 
Now with this, you can watch it go all the way up. Uh, you don't want to use any more fuel than necessary, and you just want that bare minimum encounter where we have an encounter with the moon. So really careful here. We're going to cut throttle at the very last second here and just slowly bring it up by hitting shift. And I'm going to turn this off. Like you can wait till it goes to zero here and it's the same thing. Or the other one you can do is hit, turn this off and just wait until the these you'll get a little blurp here right there. See that? All right. This means we now have an encounter. This is freaking awesome. So we're going to go up here to this bronzy gold area and we're going to tell it to warp up here because no one wants to go on, uh, take the whole day to float up there, right? So once we get up, uh, you want to make sure you don't do your science until you're in this gold area because in this gold area is when you're in the influence of the moon, okay? You won't complete your missions if you have the missions that say do this science then, right? So now we're in this area. Let's zoom in here. Let's try a crew report. Crew report, here we go. Awesome, we'll keep that. How about you EVA, Jeb? How about you EVA report from here? Beautiful science here, right? All right, so let's uh, take our data, store our experiments, and board again. Uh, let's let's observe our materials bay. Nice 50 science, beauty. Let's keep that experiment. Uh, let's close the doors. Uh, we also have our observe our mystery goo. Keep it. Uh, we have our log pressure data. Keep it. And we have our thermometer. Now, as a totally optional thing here, in case we have a catastrophic event on coming back, you can EVA and right click, say the thermometer, take the data, okay? Uh, right click the mystery group, collect the data. Huh. Yeah, let's remove the data. Now, can we reach this from here? Let's take the data from this. All this means is if this stuff burns off now, we got it with us. So let's take all the data and store our experiments. Now it's all going to be with us in the pod, right? Um, and we, we collected everything from there. Did we get it from the science? Let me, man. My memory is so short now. How about we collect the data from the science junior um, and let's take data, store experiments. It's all gonna be with us. Uh, let's board and now we have to get home. So getting home on this one, we've got very little uh, maneuver room here. I'm gonna go right up to the very end here and tell it to warp here warp here. Now for this first one, uh, we're, we're coming in fairly fast. Uh, we can face, turn our SAS back on, face retrograde and just use shift. If I bring this down to around 36,500, it usually just doing, I'm just hitting shift and X real quick here, trying to bring this down to 36,000, around 500, okay? This is for our braking, because we're going to be coming in stinking fast now, stinking fast. And then I'm going to click about an inch away from the side of Kerbin. I'm going to tell it warp here. So let's hit M, go back. We're leaving the moon now, and we're heading back towards Kerbin. We want to be retrograde to orbit when we get there. Here we go, it's coming up. Just trying to get there fast, right? No one wants to spend a whole day getting back. All right, so as we come down here, wait till it points to retrograde. We're still at 826, 820,000. You can go to four times speed here. As soon as you cross 70,000, it'll automatically kick you down to one times speed.
Now remember, if, if you had difficulty getting there or getting back, just don't take your science with you. Um, this is pretty close to maximum weight on this one. So as you can see, we're coming in at 32, 3174 meters a second. We're going to be burning very quickly here. And what, what we're doing here is a, a using gravity brakes, uh, using using the atmosphere to slow us down. Now you're going to see things heat up pretty damn hot here. Okay. Uh, for me, I've only got 98 delta V remaining. Uh, we don't really have much in the way of brakes, but remember, we can let these things burn off. We can let them burn off. It doesn't matter. As you can see, if we go back to our map view, it's pulling our orbit down. Uh oh, things are blowing up. What's blowing up? Good thing we took that science off. I think that was the uh, mystery goo container. Got a little bit warm there. So if we look, it's slowly pulling our apoapsis down. Here we go. We're, we're coming down. We're getting fairly hot here. We're still doing over 31. Now, it doesn't really matter if this stuff burns off. We don't have enough delta V to uh, completely stop on this turn. So we're going to have to... Um, use our arrow braking here, and we're probably going to have to do another lap. Probably going to take us another lap to get slowed down enough to land. That's why we came down to 36.5 on our first one. As you can see, we're starting to go back up again here, but it's slowing us down. And this should take us only one more lap till we're slow enough to get back in space. Uh, back on the ground here. If you're playing with the expansion and instead of using this big lift, uh, you were using that, uh, uh, using the, uh, what one is that? The FLTX220, you will make it back on this round. Okay, if you stacked two FLT220s together um, instead of this one T8, uh, FLT 400. Uh, the size of it will slow you down. So we're leaving the atmosphere again here. Uh, our orbit became quite a bit smaller. So what we're going to do is, is about one inch away from the periapsis, tell it to warp here again, and it'll auto warp. Uh, there's no real worries about us burning up. We're back above 48,000, 45,000 meters. So we're not burning anymore, but we have to use aero braking to get back this time. And I'm, I'm keeping that fuel tank and the engine on just to save us, um, save us a bit of time here. Now, if you told it to warp back here, it, every time you get above a certain altitude at 120,000, um, altitude, it'll actually speed up even faster for us. So if we look at this, oh, maybe it's not going to do it for us. Okay, we can hit slash to cancel. Go back to the map, tell it about an inch up here. Warp over here and now it'll speed us around. There we go. And we want to come in, pointing our butt at the ground go back up to four times speed it'll slow us down again when we come below 70,000 and this time we're coming home once we hit this braking area around 45,000 we'll start slowing down there we go we're coming in we're burning pretty hot uh, but it's dragging down our apoapsis now we're coming in pretty stinking hot. This heating is coming up again, but we're slowing down. Slowing down quite a bit here. Uh-oh. We're coming in too hot. I blew it. I blew it. Because I came in at four times speed. You shouldn't, that shouldn't happen uh, for you. 
it happened for me. We're coming back in. We're slowing down enough. We're not getting too much of a burn here. But thank goodness we took all that science we had. All that science we had, we took. Remember, collect that data, store it, put it in your main command pod, because this thing can take a beating. It can take a beating. Uh, as long as it doesn't go full red, we're good. That was a screw up on me. I was impatient. Now, if you stay away from that four times, and when when it starts getting really hot like that, you use the last of your delta V and just burn to slow down. That'll help you. Remember, you can also jettison and and have because you had the heat shield on the back of the Science Junior, right? So let's go back up to four times speed here because now we're going to land in the water. Impatience. That almost killed me. All right, thank God we kept our parachute, eh? So here we go. We're plummeting in. As soon as we get slow enough, we can activate our parachute. Back to four times. And as we're coming down, let's see world first milestones. New speed record, first fly by the moon, escape the gravitational influence of Kerbin and gravitational influence of the moon. Awesome. We explored, uh, did our flyby of the moon for 64,000, and we get even more for completing the contract. So here we go. We're coming back, and let's, let's see how much we got here. Let's see how much science we got here. We completed a lot of stuff here. And we'll just go back to one time speed as we touch down. Now, one thing I remember I forgot is I haven't, in, in the first couple of videos, here we go, world first milestone, you have returned home from a flyby of the moon. Uh, in my first two videos, I never took the crew report from the water. I never took the crew report from the water. Um, all right, so let's recover this vessel. And let's let's see how much science we got here. Now, you'll get more money if... If you had the mission that said collect science from the moon, but look at this, we got 150 frickin' science. Sweet, that is bloody sweet. All right, we got very little recovered because I was a dumbass and I, I was trying to come in too fast, uh, so I blew up a lot of shit. And there we go, two XP gain for him. We're up to 203 science, and we have completed our mission. And we're up to 203 science, $365,000. That's awesome. Anyways, guys, this is JJ. Thanks for watching video number three.